Hi, this is Jared Dees with Ave Maria Press. I wanted to give you a short introduction to the Explana eTextbook Reader. First, in the very top, you can see the different tools they offer as far as navigation. Um, you can make notes, highlight, set a bookmark, access your bookmark, advance pages forward and back. Um, you can zoom in to the text and zoom out. Um, you can shift to a, a one from one to a two-page view. This makes it look more like a textbook or more like a book itself with a two-page spread as opposed to the one-page spread. Um, if you wanted to rotate the book, if you wanted to look at something sideways, a picture, for example, you can do that. Rotate it back and forth. Um, one thing to keep track of, the best one of the best navigation tools you have is the far left side. You'll see the small little arrow. It's not labeled very well. Um, and this says the table of contents. So you can look at the different pages. You can jump ahead um, to, say, chapter 7. Um, if you're in the middle of the year and you're on a different chapter, because every time you open the textbook, it's going to take you right to the cover page. You can also jump around to different pages. If I want to jump to page 100, for example, I just type in the page, um, click enter. Um, so if your class is on a certain page, it's really easy to find that page. I'll go back to the cover page. So I want to give you a quick introduction to taking notes and highlighting. Um, let's say I'm in chapter or the introduction to chapter and I'm, I'm, I'm reading through the book and I want to take some notes. Let's hear, there's a vocabulary term I want to remember, magisterium. I click on the little highlighter button. And I can highlight the text of the definition. You can see now it's highlighted in my book. And it's saved for me to look at later. And I'll show you how to access those saved notes in highlighted text. If I want to make a note, let's say uh, I'm in class and the teacher has given a lecture on the magisterium. I'd, I might want to um, take notes someplace or take notes here, um, put them to kind of add to the textbook so I know that it relates to this part of the book. Um, and I can just add my notes here. I may also want to add a website that has more information about the topic, um, or if I let's say I want to link to the Vatican website, I can uh, highlight a text, create a link, www.vatican.va, and it'll save the website as well. So if I save the note, you'll see up in the left-hand corner of the page the note itself, and if I hover over it, um, the note will pop up with the, the note that I took. Um, the way to access the notes after you have taken them is with this little button called the Toggle Annotation Manager. Um, it'll slide over from the right. And you can take it back and forth this way, just as at the table of contents. First, it, it sorts them by page number. So I have all the different pages I've taken notes. Um, I can also organize it or sort it by type. Let's say I want to look at the different bookmarks I've made, um, the highlighted text. The one thing that's really cool, as you can see, is when you highlight a text in uh, in the book, it actually saves the words you've highlighted. So not just um, not only is it highlighted in the book itself, but it's actually saving the the, con the, the text as best it can. And also, you can see my notes are are are, take, are taken here. So if I want to jump to a page where I took a note, let's say I want to jump to this page uh, that I took notes on the aqueducts, I can go to that note and also edit it if I want to take some um, additional notes on the topic. Say I'm studying for a test, I want to take all the notes and export them to a certain page to help me study, I can do that. Um, I click on the export button up here on the top. Export and I can highlight or check the ones um, that I actually want to study and choose the format if I want text or word compatible or as a PDF, just choose those. Click export and should be able to save it that way. One other way to, to look for your notes is you can um, search for them. Let's say I want to go back to that note on um, Magisterium. I can type in the term, uh, click go or enter, uh, bring up the annotations. You can see it's going to pull up all the notes that I've taken or the highlighted text, I've, all the notes that I've taken, excuse me, on the term. Click on it. I'll jump to that page and there's my note right there. 
This is just a little short introduction to navigating the Explana eTextbook Reader. If you have questions or you want to check out some of the books we have to offer, uh, you can go to www.avemariapress.com. Thank you.